No matter what video I am making on F1, there is one comment that always gets asked every single time. And today is the day that I am finally going to reveal my F1 22 camera settings. These, in my opinion, are the best camera settings you need to use to go as quick as you possibly can within the game. Before, I would always just use the standard TV pod. I wouldn't change any of the settings on that one. Jump in the game, drive, and that was good enough for me but recently i was given these incredible camera settings and it's going to completely change your game one problem that i always had with tv pod was i felt like one third of the screen was always staring into the sky now this isn't necessarily too much of a problem because you do have the lap counter up there and also the position counter but you want to make sure your screen is taken up by the things that are actually important to you and what you actually want to see out on track now it may come as a surprise to you, but I didn't actually just adjust the normal TV pod camera. In fact, I am using TV pod offset. Yes, that's right. I'm using the camera that is usually over the shoulder of the driver. And the reason I'm using this is because it gives you a higher position on the car, which you can then angle down to be seeing less of the sky and more of the track and the cars around you. I also really like this camera because the halo doesn't block any of the mirrors. So I can always see if a driver is going for a move to the left or the right of me. So if you want to have camera settings just like mine, then this is what you want to do. Set it to TV pod offset, set the field of view to minus 10, offset lateral, this is going to be minus 12, offset horizontal is gonna be five with offset vertical being zero. You wanna change the angle to about minus four, this will just bring it down a little bit so you're not staring at the sky too much. Near clip plane will be on zero as will mirror angle and just like any of your camera settings, you always wanna put camera camera shake to zero. Now I know what some of you are going to be saying as well. TV pod camera is not the way to drive. It's for noobs and you should be driving in cockpit cam. Well, to all of you, I say, let me drive in whatever I want to. But if you are wanting to drive in cockpit cam, these are the ones that I use when I am forced to in my Twitch streams. Compared to previous installments of the game, being in cockpit cam was never that bad because you didn't have the halo blocking most of your view. But now this year with the bigger tires, it really takes up quite a bit of your screen. So to move the camera to try and adjust to these surroundings to give you the best possible view is always going to be tricky. But I think I've kind of nailed it on the head with this one. Unfortunately, using a 16 by nine monitor, I am not able to factor in the mirrors. I could bring the FOV all the way back, but then it's the reaction times to the cars around you is always going to be difficult so unfortunately you have to get rid of the mirrors and just rely on the red proximity arrows around you of course if you've got a widescreen monitor you can put yourself closer to the steering wheel and still be able to factor in those mirrors but as always with all these camera settings feel free to adjust them to your own personal preference so here we go then the cockpit camera settings that i currently run i've got the field of view at minus five offset lateral doesn't exist so stay at zero offset horizontal we put a minus five with offset vertical being at 16 i just prefer to be sat slightly higher up maybe it's because i'm a taller person that this is what i'm usually used to when i've jumped into uh some single seater cars but if of course you want to have it lower feel free to do that angle we put at minus 20 stops us from staring too much at the sky and really focus on what is important in front of us we've also got the near clip plane at zero again mirror angle at zero although i can't really use the mirrors at all camera shake again zero camera movement at zero and look to apex limit at zero of course you can adjust those if you want the driver to be looking at the apex as you're turning but if you want to keep it as central as possible put it at zero you can as well turn off the halo column if you want to but i already know that everybody moaning at me for using tv pod cam will also moan at me if i start to turn the halo off as well so there you have it those are my camera settings that i use and that you always see in the videos if there's anything else you would like help with on the f122 game let me know in the comment section below subscribe to more content just like this and i will see you on the next one goodbye